Hi there friends, welcome to Bobs and Bits. Well today it's time for another story in the Storytime tent and we've got a very special story today and we're joined by some of my cuddly friends. We've got our T.Y. Beanie Boos, we've got Stanley the Sloth, say hello Stanley, and some other cuddly friends. This is a very special story and a classic that some of you might know, some of you might not. But it's a great story, so here goes. Snow White was a beautiful princess who lived in a castle with her wicked stepmother. Every day the queen looked into her magic mirror and said, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? You are, the mirror answered. But one day the mirror said something different. Snow White is the fairest. The Queen was so angry, she told her huntsman to take Snow White deep into the forest and leave her there. I'm so sorry, the huntsman told Snow White, leading her away. Poor Snow White, the forest felt full of danger. As darkness fell, she came to a cosy little cottage. The door was open, so in she went. Inside she found seven dwarves eating dinner. Who are you? they asked. When Snow White told them about her wicked stepmother, they said she could stay with them. Oh, that was very kind of them. At the castle, the queen went back to the mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? The mirror replied, in a cottage in the forest lives kind Snow White. She is the fairest. The queen flew into a fury. I must find her, she screamed. Next morning, as the dwarves left for work, they told Snow White to stay indoors. That way, you will be safe from the Queen. And off they went. Snow White was reading when there was a knock at the door. There stood an old woman with a basket of rosy red apples. Mmm. Will you buy some of my juicy red apples? The old woman asked. They're delicious. Try one and see. As soon as Snow White bit into the apple, she fell down in a faint. The old woman, who was really the wicked queen in disguise, had poisoned it. The wicked queen ran off laughing. Now she'll never come back, she cackled, and I will once again be the fairest of all. As the wicked queen disappeared into the forest, the seven dwarves came home. They were so upset to find Snow Snow White lying there, pale and still. As the dwarves were trying to wake Snow White, a handsome young prince came riding by. The moment he saw Snow White, he fell in love with her. Perhaps I can wake her, he told the dwarves. Please let me try. The prince knelt down gently, lifted Snow White's head. The piece of poisoned apple fell from her lips. Suddenly her eyes opened wide. She was awake. Snow White looked into the prince's eyes and her heart filled with love. Aww. As the prince took Snow White in his arms, the dwarves smiled joyfully. They could see that the prince and Snow White were really in love and would live happily ever after. The end. What a beautiful story. Well, thank you for watching Bobs and Bits. And if you enjoyed that story, just like we did, feel free to subscribe and like the channel, and there'll be much more. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.